Hey people, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Yami Boy, and today in this vlog, we are headed towards Pocharam, the Pocharam Dam or the Pocharam Reservoir. I am currently at uh, Masai Pet, and I guess I have to go another 80 odd kilometers to reach that location. So, yeah, let's go and also, we have two more riders with us on uh, x 200 and uh, Apache 160. Uh, let's go catch them. They are already started, like they started when I stopped for recording. So let's go and catch them first. And then we'll together head towards Pocharam Dam. Let's go. So yeah, this is one of my rider uh, on the Xbox 200 and there's one more guy, this dude on the Apache 160, the blue one. So that guy and that guy, they are both uh, riding with me to Pocharam Dam. So we'll, we have took the main uh, left to Medak from NH44. Now we are all, this is all village road and we have to go through different villages. Oh, I have never traveled to Pojaram Dam, but yeah, I did go to Medak once. Uh, so I kind of know the road, not completely, but uh, I guess I am kind of perfect in it to the maximum extent, not completely. I know almost 95% of the road, there is just 5% which is. Uh, I don't to travel in that, so we gotta see the five percent also today. guys wait let's talk to him what happened hey man hindu ko horn kodutunda kai cross aidunda no anta sep kodtane unna ante nen den ko anukunna sari pa Sorry, da, da, da.
And finally, after around an hour, we have arrived at the magnificent Madhak Church. This is the famous Madhak Church. Oh my god, someone is shouting in the background. People are fucking shouting in the background. So, this is the Madhak Church. Uh, this is around uh, 80. 90 maybe uh, 110 kilometers from Hyderabad and uh, only I have reached I'm still waiting for my friends they are nowhere to be seen yet so I guess I'll go inside and check it out till then I'll uh, wait for my friends and see if I could do something else here <laughs> Walking towards the main entrance of the church. There is lawn on the right and lawn on the left. Let's go inside. I don't think shooting is allowed, so we'll shoot till here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have got the work done with church, and we are now at. Uh, no small shop. Small shop. We're gonna take some snacks and go to the dam so that we could eat something over there. It will be too expensive to feed something over there. So, yeah, we'll buy something and go off.
బాబాయ్ అమ్మ బాబాయ్ దిస్ ఇస్ కొచారం డ్యామ్ ప్లాన్ ఇస్ కాండ్ ఎఫ్లాప్ ఐ వుడ్ సే బికాస్ అపారెంట్లీ దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ టు డూ ఓవర్ హియర్ అట్లుంచా అట్లుంచా there is no 
uh, GoPro or the HJ camera that I use here. It's uh, apparently, let me show you. Okay, so this is the HJ camera I use. Sorry for the table noise, it's kind of creaky. If you can <laughs> understand, yeah. So this is the HJ cam that I use, it's a cam for Thor. This is the cheapest I could buy. So, alright, this is just some screw. So, this is the mount that was attached to my helmet. And I used masking tape to stick uh, this to the helmet. And I also used Arrow Light to make it strong and you know give it a little bit angle. It will be like this. Uh, and also because if you can see, oh shit, uh, my helmet, it's kind of rigid over here, so it doesn't take that straight, uh, straight mounts are very difficult to mount on this, so I use this one, let me focus, yeah, this is the uh, arrow light that I used, and this is the J mount with another mount, which I could remove and show. So basically this is J mount with another small mount that I could fix. Oops. Yeah. That I could fix it and then screw it up. Yeah, uh, I'll leave it little loose, then I will tilt it back, not completely, I'll kind of tilt it, then it's more to the front side actually, I'll screw it up in completely, then I will take the camera, this is the camera, uh, we'll uh, use this camera like this. So that's actually was I'm sorry. So yeah, we'll use this camera like this and there you go. I guess you have a very good uh, angle over here. Now this will go here. Right. Screw tied it in properly. See the holes should match. That's what we said though. And push it back now tighten it tighten it from here also this is how it should actually look and if I bring in the helmet it should look something like this okay something like this but unfortunately this one came off and uh, wait a second if you could see there are gum marks from the masking tape on my helmet uh, which i now have to clear and i also have to find another solution for this uh, this thing needs to be adjusted again because or else how could be motor block so what i thought was uh, the same thing i got this the chain clean motor uh, or we could call it the the decreasing agent uh, hopefully this removes the gum and then I'll properly be able to adjust it again because more motor block should come, I guess, every weekend all. So So if you could see the model has cleaned the gum on both sides, but it's quite uh, slippery. I use some call-in and clean up the lube also so that uh, I could, you know, set up the new thing. Tomorrow I'll try to set up the new one and also record that process or maybe show it in some other vlog. So yeah, I will call in it up and that's it. We will be done for now. So yeah, almost to the tomorrow for travel is done. So friends are leaving now. Uh, we are going to go to Mutabet and we are going to Warak Maharaj Kandi. And then we are going to go to Mutabet. That's the end of the 
Bloomberg. 